Hello everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.dev and here's going to be a quick video on HTMX and an HTMX extension. So HTMX has many extensions that extend what you can do with HTMX. One of those is the client-side templates extension. What this does, it allows you to actually use templating on the client side. So the idea would be that your front end would make a request to some endpoint that uses JSON. So basically you're not getting back HTML like your typical sort of HTMX pattern. What you're doing is you're getting back JSON, but then what happens that JSON is then rendered against a template in one of these templating libraries from the front end. Okay, so it kind of gives you um, ability to do some more client side rendering um, or to sprinkle a little bit of that in in case you're dealing with data sources that you don't control. So you might be dealing with some third party API um, that's going to send you data back as JSON, but you don't want to have to write all that DOM logic. So what you can do is you can write the, te the, uh, the t a template and then bring that data in. So we'll show you an example of that, but let's just first get it set up. So I have this express server that I have running here that I've done a couple other videos with HTMX on. So I'm going to create another folder in here, we'll call it new folder. We'll call this uh, client side templates. And then we'll put an in index.html in there. Okay, and in here we'll put our HTML boilerplate. And then we're gonna need to copy over HTMX. So right here we can see all of that, HTMX, uh, the client side templates um, extension, and one of the templating libraries. In this case, it's gonna be mustache, but it can support any of these, nunjucks, mustache, handlebars, XSLT, which I haven't worked with before. Um, but yeah, so I'll copy this over. Okay, and let's go back to here. Put that in my head tag. Okay, and let's say here I have a a div that's going to be called display. So id display, which is just going to be an empty div for now. I'm going to have a button, and that's going to do an hx get to Okay, we're gonna do it to um, a URL we're about to create. Okay, it's gonna target display. I don't really wanna do the outer HTML swap, so let's change that back to inner HTML. Okay, um, yep, hx template. Well, we have to create a template first. Okay, template. Okay, and we're gonna give it the ID of template. It could be any ID. It just has to match this HX template. So that's how it knows, okay, hey, when I get the data back from this request, it should be rendered against this template. Okay. Cool. We'll come back to what that template's going to have. Okay. But let's just make sure that we, okay, so here HX target. So in this case, we want to specify which must templating library we're using. So in this case, what we're going to want to do is use this directive right here, mustache template. And that's going to tell us the ID of the template we're using. So in this case, mustache template foo allows us to say it match up with this template and use mustache as the templating syntax. Okay. So let me go back over here and adjust that. So that's mustache template. I don't think I really need to do the HX extension here. Okay. Let's see here, but I do need to do that on the parent. So I'll just do that on the body. So let me control Z, control X, put that there. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. So you see like in this case, they put it on this div, which meant that it's going to search this whole div for the template. It won't look for like it basically it's operating within that scope. So that way it's not like scouring the whole DOM, but again, we're doing a really small little site, so this is fine. We'll see. If it doesn't work, then we'll go back and add in the wrapping div, like in the example here. Okay, cool. But well, let's create a, first let's create an actual endpoint that's gonna give us back some JSON data. So I'm gonna head back to my server.js and I'm just gonna do app.get and we're gonna call this um, my data. And we're gonna say rec res and that's fine. Name John, age 42. Perfect. Okay, so let's go back to the client side templates here. 
So it's going to be making a request to slash my data. Okay, again, that's going to end up rendering right here into this div right here by swapping the inner HTML. And we're going to be using this template here, mustache template, which is right here. Now over here, we can kind of see how that syntax looks like. Okay, so I can use double square brackets to kind of put in um, IDs. Okay, not a mustache expert. Usually I've used EJS, ERB, other templating libraries. But usually I can take a look at the syntax here and kind of get a good idea what's going on here. So what I'm seeing here is essentially the interpolation syntax is this. Okay, and then this is some sort of directive for raw, which I'm assuming it just means just put in the raw, uh, the raw value in there. Okay. Let me just see if it mentions anything about that. Yeah, so this, so basically I should be able to just do that. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. And then here, this is, I guess, iterating over an array. So this syntax here allows you to, to say, hey, I'm iterating over an array. And then this is what it's doing for each element in that array. So maybe we'll try that example out afterwards. But first, let's just try this out. We'll just say, hey, h2, my name. Oh, let's actually, what's the data again? Server.js. John, age 42. Okay, I am I am and am age. Okay, cool. I think that should be everything. Okay, so basically we have the button and now when I go to here to slash client side templates. Okay. Wait, is the server running? Oh, no, the server's not running. Okay, I think that's just an error from somewhere. Okay, so let me go back to server.js, see where that is. Oh, I see. I'm seeing parentheses at the end of here. Okay, that's fixed. Let's try that again. Okay, so there's a button. So if it all worked, I should have the template render. Now see, in this case, it rendered the JSON. So that means it didn't work the way as expected. Okay. So in that case, so let's see here. Res.send. Let's go back to our client side template. Take a look. So we click the button. Mustache template. Yes. So let's do that where we wrap this all in a div. Okay, so we'll just say div with the ID of container. Okay, let me copy all of this into that container. Okay, so the idea is that basically the template is there and then I'm gonna move this extension, hx extension to the div See if this is what makes the difference. Okay, save. Okay, cool. Well, let's refresh. Let's see if that works better. Nope, same results. So there's something else that must be missing. So let me go back, refer back to the example. So right here, let's see here. I have the HX extension, client side templates, we do. Okay, we have the get. We have the internet HTML, we have the target, mustache template foo. Okay. The foo. Okay, template, raw. So let me actually first consult the console. Are we seeing any errors here? We are. On document, template is not a valid selector. Ah, ah, I don't need the hash here. That was an example. It was just, you just put the name of the ID there. So that's the problem. Okay, let's try that again. And there you go. Now it works. Okay, now it works. So the issue was I just accidentally put the hash here. You just have to put the name of the ID here. I did see that earlier. I just made that mistake. Um, okay, cool. So you see, it's like, it's pretty simple. You can just now, and the great thing about this is you can work with like third party APIs and still have that sort of HTMX swapping kind of feel without necessarily having to, you know, use imperative JavaScript for third party data. You can now use the client side templating to do templating for, for those situations. 
Now, let me create another, let me modify that API endpoint to return an array of names. Okay, so I'm gonna say, hey, an array of objects with name and age. I'm gonna see if GitHub Copilot can help with it. Can help me with this. Const r equals. You're gonna help me out. Yes, thank you, GitHub Copilot. Much easier that way. Okay, so then we're gonna return the array. Okay, so in this case, we're returning an array of objects. So now I'm gonna take a take a look at that example from here. Okay, and again, the syntax here to express an array is you put the name of the array. Okay, in this case, it's coming in as data. Okay. So in this case, what I would do is I'd say, hey, we have our data. And there's where our data is going to end. Okay, and then for each one, what I'd like to do is have an H2 with the name and a H3 with the age. Okay, and essentially this is going to be the template I want to render for each thing. So let's see if that works. I go back over here, I refresh, I hit the button that's going to make the API call and then render that temp against that template. Oh, that not, didn't seem to do what I think it was going to do. Okay, and I'm not getting any errors. So is it even making the request network? It is making the request. But the response, there's a little response, no response in the file was given. Okay, so let me refresh the page. Okay, go back here to the bottom. I'm gonna click the button. There's a response to my request to my data. And it is getting the array of data. Okay, interesting. There must be something I'm missing. Okay. You will need to include the HMX extension. Now here's a working example using working against an API that returns an array. Okay, so does I see anything else that it does differently? ID foo. Ah, okay, the property has to be mustache array template. Okay, so let's go back and change that. So mustache array template. Okay, let's refresh the page, try this again. And see now that works. Okay, so basically whether you get a, a JSON object back or a JSON array back, you can handle it with these client-side libraries. Again, it's gonna be probably slightly different if we're talking about XSLT or Nunjux. Um, hopefully in the future, maybe they add other library, like other templating libraries like EJS or something like that. Um, that would be pretty cool, but this is pretty neat. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing how this works. My name is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.dev. Have a great day and enjoy.